Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss how to apply Gaussian Navier-Bayes algorithm to classify a new example into one of the classes. In this case, we have been given uh, eight examples. Four are of type male, four are of type female. Height, weight and foot size are the features of this particular data set. Given this data set, we have to classify a new person whose height is 6 feet, weight is 130 and foot size is 8 inch into either male or female. In this case, we are going to use a Gaussian Navier's uh, classifier to classify this new example. First, we need to calculate the probability of uh, male and uh, probability of female in this case. So the probability of male in this case is uh, 4 divided by 8 because uh, there are 4 uh, male examples out of 8 which is equal to 0.5. Probability of female is equal to 4 divided by 8 again because uh, there are uh, 4 female examples out of 8 uh, uh, total examples which is equal to 0.5. Now, if you notice this particular uh, features, the values of features, you can say, the values of features are uh, continuous in nature. They are not discrete. Hence, we cannot calculate the conditional probabilities here. That is, uh, probability of uh, a person is equal to male given height, probability of a person is equal to male given weight and so on. We cannot calculate uh, such kind of uh, conditional probabilities. Hence, uh, what we have to do here is, we have to calculate uh, the mean and standard deviation of each attribute for male and female separately. E use those particular mean and uh, standard deviation or you can say that uh, variance uh, to calculate the conditional probabilities in this case. So first uh, we will calculate the mean and uh, variance of uh, uh, male and then we will calculate the mean and variance of uh, female in this case. So for male example, the mean of height is equal to uh, 6 plus 5.92 plus 5.58 plus 5.92 divided by 4 because there are 4 uh, male examples are there which is equal to 5.855. Next we need to calculate the variance of this particular thing that is whenever the person is male and uh, the feature is height. The variance of height is equal to summation of xi minus mean bracket square divided by n minus 1. So xi in this case is uh, first time it will be 6, second time it will be 5.92, third time it will be 5.58, fourth time it will be 5.92. Minus mean we have to take the square of this particular difference divided by n minus 1. So that is the uh, final uh, value of variance in this case. That is nothing but uh, 6 minus uh, 5.855 bracket square plus uh, 5.92 minus 5.855 bracket square plus 5.58 minus 5.855 bracket square plus 5.92 minus 5.855 bracket square divided by 4 minus 1 that is nothing but 3 here. Once you solve this particular uh, equation, you will get the variance of height is equal to 0 0.035055. So these two, the mean and variance are for male given the feature height in this case. The same process we have to apply to calculate the, uh, can say that mean of uh, weight and variance of weight, mean of foot size and variance of uh, foot size for male. The same process has to be applied for female also. So once you calculate all the, the mean and variance for all the attributes, we will get the results something like this. That is the mean of height, variance of height, mean of weight, variance of weight, mean of foot size, variance of foot size for male as well as female. Once you calculate these uh, mean and variance for all the attributes for all the classes, Next, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the posterior probability for the new example. So the new instance to be cal classified in this case is uh, height is equal to 6, weight is equal to 130, foot size is equal to 8. We want to classify this example into one of the classes, either male or female. So we calculate the posterior probability of male as well as posterior probability of female in this case. Posterior probability of male is always equal to that is uh, probability of male 
multiplied by probability of height given male because we have height feature here multiplied by probability of weight given male probability of food size given male divided by evidence with the same note posterior probability of uh, female is equal to probability of female multiplied by probability of height given female probability of uh, weight given female probability of food size given female divided by evidence so evidence is common in both the cases so you can remove this particular evidence just calculate the numerator that is more than enough to classify this new example into one of the classes now if you want to solve this two equations we need to know all these particular probabilities out of these probabilities we know what is probability of m that is equal to 0.5 probability of f is known to us that is equal to 0.5 in this case but we don't know what is the probability of h given m probability of w given m and so on so if you want to calculate this particular thing we use gaussian uh, distribution equation that is nothing but f of x is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi delta square multiplied by e raised to minus x minus mu bracket square divided by 2 delta square here delta square is nothing but a variance so we uh, and uh, mu is a mean x is the input in this case for example height is equal to 6 weight is equal to 130 food size is equal to 8 this this is nothing but x mu is we have already calculated that is uh, mean of height mean of weight mean of uh, food size uh, delta square is nothing but the variance that is nothing but the variance of height variance of uh, weight variance of food size in this case so if you want to calculate the probability of h given m that is nothing but uh, p of h given m which is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 multiplied by 3.142 that is nothing but pi multiplied by uh, variance variance of what variance of uh, you can say that height given male where is that particular value this is nothing but the probability of uh, you can say that uh, the variance when uh, the gender is male in this case that is nothing but 0 0.035033 put that value here multiplied by e raised to minus x what is x height value so height is in this case is equal to 6 here so 6 minus mean mean of height that is whenever it is male that is equal to 5.855 5.855 bracket square divided by 2 times variance variance is what 0 0.035033 so once i put this particular value I will get probability of height given male is equal to 1.5789. Similarly, we have to calculate probability of weight given uh, male, probability of uh, food size given male, as well as probability of height given female, weight given female, food size given female in this case. You can do this particular calculation by following this particular uh, uh, equation. Once you get this particular conditional probabilities, what we can do is uh, we can put those particular values in these uh, posterior probability equations so that we will get the final answer in this case. That is, uh, probability of m is equal to 0.5, probability of h given m is equal to 1.5789. Similarly, we will put these particular values so that we will get the posterior probability of male is equal to 6.1984 into 10 raised to minus 9 similarly we will put the posterior uh, probabilities of uh, a female that is the probability of h given female probability of w given female and so on in this posterior probability equation once you put all these uh, values in this equation we will get 5.377 into 10 raised to minus 4 if you compare these two values that's a posterior probability of male and female posterior probability of female is more than pro posterior probability of male it the new example is classified female uh, in this case so in this uh, video i have discussed how to apply gaussian navier's algorithm to classify a new example into one of the classes i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.